You're listening to The Andres Segovia Show. I started this channel back on September 20, 2015. I started as a response to the tech influencers that were not giving a fair shake to BlackBerry because they were saying that devices were not an Apple iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy device. No duh, they were a BlackBerry. So as someone, as a small business owner and operator myself, using a BlackBerry to help run my operations, I took it upon myself to talk about the positives of a BlackBerry and how it gets me by. And that's how my channel took off. And for those of you that have been around since the very beginning, thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. But you've also been around to see the morphing of this show. Because I didn't get the latest technology. I wasn't getting manufacturer products sent to my door. I wasn't getting invited to the press junkets. And I'm not one of those idiot uh, creators that was taking advantage of the Amazon return policy to do a review of a product in a week or two and then return it. That's pathetic. It's stupid. I hate that. I did get sponsorship uh, offers and I did get promoted posts offers and I never did it. The only time I reviewed a product that was uh, asked of me by a company was the only company that was willing to allow me to keep my voice and opinion to review the product without them approving it. And that company was a step checking company. I'm going to leave that review in the description down below for you to check it out. Because if you go check out that app in the app stores today, positive reviews. And I'm so glad that uh, they stood by the product. It says a lot about that company. And I'm glad they're still around. But I always turned those other offers down because I wanted to control my voice. And as I had to morph my show because people did like what I had to say and the perspective I was coming from, from the small business world. And I think that's something that was missing for a lot of people, especially these tech influencers that don't understand what it actually means to run your own operations. You can content create, that's one thing, especially if you're being sponsored by it. But what does it mean to run a small business? A small business is like having an infant child that never grows up. You're putting your life, blood, sweat, and tears to create, and take care of this baby. So you see a small business go under, yeah, that hurts. And then you see a company go up in flames over some stupid thing that's been going on politically, that's just as bad or worse because there's no way to recover something that you had no reason to lose in the first place. That was the mindset that I came from, a small business owner and operator mindset and showed you how technology helped me work smarter, not harder. So in the real estate world where I'm an independent contractor, I was trying to teach my colleagues too. It's like, hey, you guys can do better, too, with technology at your disposal. Why are we on the cutting edge of technology not leveraging it and still using antiquated methods to conduct our day-to-day -day operations? We're getting increased competition from the tech sphere, iBuyers and all that. Let's prove our worth. That's where the show was evolving. And it was coming to a head when I, I can't keep doing a channel on YouTube, which is like a job in of it itself and also do what I have to do. Three different operations, construction, property management, and real estate. Three different clients, three different set of employees, three different sets of problems. So that I can't do it all. So like, is there a way for me to be able to still do my hobby and do what I do for a living? Lo and behold, The Andrew Segovia Show was reborn. And I say reborn because the show did exist before. From 2003, 2009, it was known as The Andrew Segovia Show, newsletter, and blog. All of it, which is chronicled and collected here in the interesting overshow transcript of the early days, available as a hardcover pretty soon on Amazon. It's available as a paperback right now. Also Amazon, no Kindle. Pick up a book, people. And what I covered then was economics, current events, and political commentary. Political commentary that you might not find very popular today. And it's okay. But I stand by it because I still hold those views today. But that's not what my show was going to be about. Those that knew, like, are you going to bring all that politics over to the show? No, 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 no. I want to help others through the means. Like, I love doing content creation, but I can't market myself as a traditional broker because I don't have the time to do the traditional stuff and the cold calling. So I got to separate myself from the tens of thousands of realtors out there anyway. So I found a way to leverage everything that I love how to do to be able to reach out to clients and, and people and educate them. And that's where I received the interaction. That's where I was able to connect even more so with people, not just tech, but to actually make an impact in people's lives because I was targeting tenants, homeowners, and investors alike. It's like, I'm trying to help all of you in all this because real estate is the best way for you to financially plan for your future and retirement. Not to mention beyond that for your next generations and the ones after that. So yes, real estate was the best way. And I was educating them about that. So when Sacramento here in California is coming down with policies through the forms of propositions that are being put on ballots or things that are happening in the legislature coming along, I had to call those things out. And to call those things out because it's politics, people will say it's political. Andres, you're bringing your opinion into it. 
now things started getting a little unsavory. On top of that, independent content creators like myself were really hurt when the Vox apocalypse happened. Thank you, Steven Crowder. Do what you do, brother. You got my backing. I'm a Muck Club member too, probably. So, and you know, that really hurt independent content creators like myself. The goalposts kept moving with these community guidelines. I had episodes that were shadow banded, even outright removed. And like, what happened? I'm not even talking politics in any of it. Uh, but maybe there was a gotcha word in there. Like, it, it, but context matters. It didn't matter, though, because our voices always fell on deaf ears with YouTube. As tended to be the case. And that was terrible. That's why I knew that there was certain content that I would not be able to keep on YouTube, which is why you might have heard me invite you to say, off the record, check it out at www.digitalgover.com. If you go to today, you're not going to find it anymore, though. Well, you kind of could if you navigate the labyrinth of, of, of categories, but not a specified place anymore. And that's on purpose. And it has to do with what I'm teasing on this episode today. Because that platform, I think I found a home for it. And I cannot talk about it just yet until something happens in my life that I will announce on January 2022. So for that, I would appreciate a subscription and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the announcements. That way you can be in the know, stay in the know too. Because it's a big shift for me as I devote myself to more advocacy, to devote myself to actually serving my underserved community of, of Hispanics. And also getting involved with other groups, with other groups, not just with uh, in them, but with them, uh, to give a voice and a platform and help signal boost things that are going on. So some people are not going to really like the direction of the show, might not be as tech heavy or brilliantly tech in it, but hey, I love tech, so I'm still going to talk about it, um, but it probably won't be living um, here on these channels as much anymore. I would love to keep it here but there's only so much I can do as an individual. So and that's why I'm making that announcement. But the show was always going to morph. I always knew that. And this year was a year unlike any other in that, well, I feel like I made enemies on the left and the right. <laughs> and then I made friends like all across the board too. So like, I've been called everything under the sun because of my conservative positions, but then now being attacked by the right as some kind of soy boy or even I was called a liberal uh, this year just because I took on the freedom phone. <laughs> like, well, that's new. I'm going to add that to the lexicon of insults that have been herald at me. You know, it's like, dude, uh, I, I, I basically heard it all. But then this year, something really irked me. Uh, at first, I laughed so hard because it must be new around here. But I was called an Apple fanboy. That's a big no-no to me. But now it's really hard for me to tell you that I'm not an Apple fanboy when you see just how much Apple tech I currently carry on my person. That's what it's a, it was a conscientious decision that I made before Apple decided to walk back its privacy and security cons, uh, like promises and instead became the very thing that they said that they would that they claimed that only Google did. So like, man, what now? Because for, to content create, Apple was actually offered act, offer the best tools. And it's like, so where am I stuck between a rock and a hard place? No. Check out my daily tech video of 2021, and you'll find out how exactly I'm leveraging all sorts of tech to fight back against big tech. A story for another time, but it's coming pretty soon. And stay tuned for what's coming in the new year. Because, yeah, I got a lot to say, but now I got to get in the trenches. But there's one thing that's been holding me back, and I can't wait to break free from them. So stay tuned to the Andrew Segovia Show for January 2022, because, yeah, it's going to be a whole new ball game, And I really hope you're along for the ride. Thank you so much. I'm yours truly, Andre Segovia, broker servicing your needs and defending your property rights here in the state of California. Stay tuned for more. The Andrew Segovia Show, unshackled, finally, January 2022. And in case I don't see you until then, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>